and I got a call and they said, Whack, the judge is seeing it your way. Oh, Looks man. like old Keefe probably going to be coming home. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Dancer Man. We back. Look like this some breaking news about Keefe D. You remember all the problems on the first bail hearing about the credibility of Wag, Cash Jones, source of the money, but nothing that said that it wasn't legitimate funds. So here we are again. Let's get to the content. Bro, I'm going to tell you the most hilarious thing, right? When you're doing a bail hearing, right? All they supposed to do is show where the funds came from and show if the funds is legal. Did you hear the dump judge say, well, you know, Keefe D used to be a notorious dealer. Are you insinuating that I've been holding Keefe D's money? Like, what are you talking about right now? Like, did, yeah, they say, did they say, well, he's not credible. What do you mean? Well, I'm not credible. The corporation's credible. You see where the money came from? You see that? Right? I told my, my bell bob to call me. He said the company, uh, it came from. I said, yo, bro, did you go research where it came from? Yeah. Is it legal? Yeah. Well, which, I don't got to tell you my business. With them. I said, watch this. I called him. I said, hey, why me in 150000 tomorrow from my end? All right, no problem, bro. Be there morning. Well, I see the screenshot. I said, you see that? How much money they owe? It don't matter what they owe me. It doesn't matter. That's none of your business. None of their business. Yeah. What matter is, it's not a deal. It's not for money. It's not for money. What matters is, is two companies that's doing business. Don't matter. Straight up. It don't matter. Only thing that matters is it's not dirty and it's legal and it it's not Keefe D's money. Now you seen them saying he got the right to do business or we want to do business with if that's what he wanna do. If he wanna do a life right situation, yeah he can do a life right situation because it's more to his life than just Tupac. At the end of the day, he hasn't been convicted of being Tupac. And his life story, yeah, like it's more than his just life story people. started. They're trying to focus on that. Life story started in 1980. He's 60 years old. The nigga was like 16. His rise in the street started like 80, 79, 80. So, whatever agreement I was to have today has nothing to do with the Tupac because you guys have yet to find him guilty. Of Tupac. You might right, we old club out on the other side. We went viral today. We the only ones right. that ever going down in history. We didn't take this club out. Just some high tech clubhouse didn't even have a reach to take it. Right. I got these in the middle of a Tupac crowd talking about whack one hundred Mr. Castro <laughs> and Clubhouse. And the other side of Clubhouse. <laughs> yo, yo the biggest trials in history. Hey clubhouse whack this exactly. That's legendary. Yeah, you doing something That's right, like, like you always do. Yeah, per purge it out. Why well, purge that? You can You gonna prove that? Can you define the friend? Tell me what defines a friend. Is it somebody you know? Is it somebody you're cordial with? Is it somebody who hand you shook? Somebody you sat out and ate dinner with? What defines a friend? What you talking about? You want me to tell you we business partners? We died. Well, how you doing? We friends. He's been to my place of business. I've shook the man's hand. I have a conversation with the man. Now, somebody called me on the phone. Hey, Wag, what's up, bro? This is TG3. You know, uh, I got my man on the phone. You know what I'm saying? Kobe, I want to introduce y'all. Then I would say, well, we've been acquainted. I've been acquainted with the dude on the phone. But once Kobe comes to me, sits down with me, we shake hands, exchange phone numbers, have conversations, and whatever it is we're doing at that point in time, it's more than just being acquainted. Now, friend, good friend, best friend, then there's levels to the friendship. They see the upset at me in the court. You know, like I, told him, I told him, listen, I have nothing else to talk to you people about. I'm sitting in all my documents, my documents to the target. 
I couldn't believe what the judge said. Well, KBD used to be a killer, so we don't know if the funds to be <laughs> came from there. They said, oh, no. You got record of all the wires coming into the account, did you not? <laughs> Yo, when I heard that, that got to do with me. Do they not know all wires got to pass through Federal Reserve? They have to make sure where it's coming from is right and where it's going is right. Crazy. Mr. Jones is not credible. Yes, but the account is. The account is. Did that happen today? Yeah. He had, you know, I told you that to give him another bell here. They filed. So how it's looking now? How, how, how you think it looked? Bro, they, uh, listen, the attorney did his job. He said, hey, this is not a trial, whether he's Tupac or not. You're saying that he's making money off Tupac when, in fact, he's not being convicted of Tupac. Right. Did Mr. KPD have an extensive story stretching over 40 years you know he was one of the godfathers and gangsters and dealers of cop and distributing between california and and, and uh, arkansas and california and new york it's a lot to his story uh than tupac and he has not been convicted of tupac so if the man wants to do a deal if i want to do a deal it's a turkey of what i've been through if his kids want to do a deal they have the right to do so you violating his rights. Mr. Jones stated that, yes, he intends to do a deal in the near future. They said, well, we see this amount went out to the bondsman. Where's the difference? He said the bondsman that provided a check, a post-dated check for Mr. Jones at the time he, the bell is complete. Then the bondsman, it goes to his account. The bondsman, there it goes. He provides the check been written. He said, and today, Mr. Jones still hasn't pulled the bond back could have pulled that bond money back you know what i'm saying yes facts you could have yeah so they like they like well um dude comes out start talking about uh some people that was in fear they life in 2008 they like yeah we not here for that we're here for a bond hearing to verify where the funds came from he provides you bank records well, you know, he has wires coming in. Okay, well, the wires is coming in. is what contributes to the amount of the bank account. So at the end of the day, right, the wire has been tracked back to this company. They said the name of the company, right? My boss been called me last week. He said, Wack, what kind of business you got with the company? I said, it don't matter. And the company is registered to do business. I said, watch this. I called on the three-way. I said, hey, what up, bro? I said, bro, send me $150,000 tomorrow. He said, all right, go out. Go ahead and make make note of that. Don't was owed to me. And the next day, the 150 guy. I said, you see how that worked? I got about 10 I could do that with because it's money sitting over there. Right? I said, you know, end of the day, as long as it can show that the company is coming from is legal and the account is going to is legal, neither one I have, nothing, neither one of us have no dealings with none of that. With legal entities. So it doesn't matter. These accounts have been open long before KPD was arrested. They're not shell companies. They're not none of that. So at the end of the day, we're here to uh, show that Mr. Jones is in fact a real person. The information, the money is coming from a real account. And that's what it is. It's legal. You know, if they could prove it was illegal, bro, if they could prove it was any type of any type of anything, any that it had been there. And I got a call and they said, why the judge is seeing it your way. Oh, it's man. like old Keefe probably gonna be coming home. That's awesome. So they happened to, they happened to Bell's by McCormick today. Um they was saying you didn't have a lot of wire history from that particular wire site. The wires from everywhere. And like, well, have you received a wire from that from them people since? I said I just got a hundred fifty thousand from them last week. I sent that in. He sent it in. They was like, I said you want to see some more wire history? I got like six accounts. I just gave him that account because that's all that was needed to get the nigga out. I can't. I don't want the people all to my business. Like I don't know what you're talking about. I ain't like nah, nah, nah. 
you know, at the end of the day, you got the right to do business. He can do business. And and, and, and the word of do bad is what he said. There's nothing authentic about Cash Joe. That's <laughs> it. These bank accounts are very authentic. The wires were cleared through Federal Reserve. The property is authentic. He said, whack, you got to remember, man, when look at your situation, they keep pulling you up on social media, your criminal history and all this, and you go put multi-million dollar property up and this up, and they, they don't understand. The DA act off the record in the hallway. I thought they were enemies. Why would a pyro bell on a Compton crib? Wow. So, end the day, and in the words of Dr. Martin Luther King, I think uh, the minister would agree, we shall overcome someday. And my day has always come. Already then came. All right, we're going to hold off and wait for confirmation. Wax say you got the call. We got to make sure that those folks don't have another gathering and reverse the decision or something new is presented. You just never know. But he got a confirmation call. But I guess until Keefe is out with the ankle monitor, we won't know. But once we get that intel, we will certainly pass it along. Appreciate y'all tuning in, man. It's your boy, the answer, like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Till next time, we out.